Today I'm going to be running you through the new Ultimaker 3 app which allows you to print from your mobile device. Um, it works on Apple and Android devices. Um, I'm just going to show you on an iPad today. Um, so the first thing you want to do is open up the app. And then we need to connect to our Ultimaker 3. Just click this button here and it will search for all nearby Ultimakers. You can see ours is showing up. So you select that. And this will give you a live feed of the uh, onboard camera. We're already authorised, so it's going to allow us to connect. And we'll click connect. And then it gives you a full full screen like this. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is try and start a new print. So we click print. Given these three options here, um, we can load a model from the iPad, load a, ma a model from uh, Umagine, or print an Ultimaker robot. Um, so if I show you what you can do in Umagine, it links directly to the Umagine website, uh, which has loads of uh, files all ready for you. And select any file that you fancy. And just like, just like you usually would, just download it. So you just click the download button and download the, uh, the file that you want, like this. Uh, whichever one you select. Uh, you can download it and then op open it with the app. If we go back to Ultimaker 3, and the other option you can do is print from the iPad. And this will allow us to print from our iCloud account. And um, you can also uh, access things like Dropbox as well, if you want to store your files there, which is quite useful. Uh, but we're going to try and print this file here in Dreamo Keyring, which is in SDL format. And then it will load the file up into the build area. And you can look around it as you usually would, just to check that it's loaded in okay. So that looks fine. And once you're happy, uh, click print in the top right hand corner. And now this will show you up your, um, your print core configuration. Uh, it will allow you to print with um, PVA supports. Uh, this model doesn't actually need any supports, so um, we're only going to use Extruder 1. And currently our Extruder 2 uh, has the, uh, an AA core in as well, so we haven't actually got uh, PVA loaded at the minute. So we're happy with that. Extruder 1 will be fine. It's got a tick by it. We'll go next. And then this will give us all our settings that we can uh, select. So you've got four options here, draft, fast, normal and high. And the draft mode is at 200 microns, the fast is at 150 microns, normal 100 microns and high at 60 microns. Um, so we'll leave it at normal for now. Um, and as I said before, we don't need support on this, so we'll go no support. But if you've got the BB core loaded, you'll be able to select um, which extruder you want to print supports with. So you do get the option to print in the same material or in PVA if you want. And the only other option you get is if you want to include a brim or not. Um, this file doesn't actually need a brim, so I'll turn that off just like that. But once you're happy with all the settings, we select Slice. And it will start to slice the print. And now it's saying that we need to make sure that the build plate um, on our printer is empty. So you want to check that check that the build plate is empty. You can see by the camera as well. And then click start print. It will send the G-code to the printer and the print will begin. It's really nice that you can monitor this all from the camera as well um, and it's all in real time. Uh, there's no real lag to it at all which is quite nice. Right so that's our print well underway. Um, you can see we've got a constant live feed here. 
Um, it's worth noting that you can only uh, print if you're on the same uh, Wi-Fi network at the minute. This is something that Ultimaker are working on, so you'll be able to work um, on your prints and set them going from, from afar. So if you're at home, for example, you can set your prints going. Um, but yeah, if you've got any other questions about the Ultimaker 3 app or the Ultimaker 3 itself, leave the comments in the section below and we'll be happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.